doing NBA player props here on Prize Picks for Thursday, May 18th. Before we get started, there is a link in the description below. You can sign up for Prize Picks there, or you can use promo code TUFF, 100% deposit match. Discord link is in the description as well as Patreon link. Again, I'm not a gambling expert and this is not financial advice. These are simply just plays I'm personally looking at making. Hopefully giving you guys some insight and analysis to then make your own player prop decisions here. Again, no one is pressing submit on those parlays other than yourself. Um, but yeah, we've gone 4-0 now um, in both these game ones, Eastern Conference and Western Conference Finals. We are on a 4-0 run. Definitely looking to replicate that tonight. Um, I'm honestly, for this video, I'm going to give three plays that I like today. So if you guys appreciate the three plays total, um, please, all I ask is just drop a like on this video. It really, really does help the channel a lot. So let's get right into it, you guys. I'm looking at three plays from this game. Um, we have a... Five and a half point spread, 226 over under, 276 and a half, sorry. The game one was, I mean, super high scoring game. We're looking at well over 200, like 258 points here combined from these two teams. So definitely a high scoring kind of series, I think, with two of these, you know, Lakers really good defense, Nuggets really good offense. But the Lakers offense was really there um, in that fourth quarter and then really in the second half of that game one. But I got three plays here. Um, let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. So the first one, we're going straight to the man. Uh, the, the wagon really for, for me in these playoffs, it's been Anthony Davis over uh, 53 fantasy score. Now, again, this is just too low. We saw in the Golden State series and the Memphis series, this was as high as 58 and a half and was consistently at 55 and a half here for AD. Um, he went crazy here in game one, 71 and a half fantasy points. So almost 20 points in game one higher than what this line is currently set at. Um, we take a look at Anthony Davis fantasy score game log versus the Nuggets this season. He has hit the over on this twice, both games in Denver. So like the altitude, the elevation, not really affecting him, it seems. And they have no one. Denver has no one that can stop AD. He went off for 40 points, 10 rebounds, third, three assists, three steals and two blocks, 14 for 23 from the field. Um, and he made all 11 of his free throw attempts, which is just absolutely elite to me, in my opinion. Um, but for AD, right, we take a look at his three steals and three blocks. That has been consistent for AD throughout the playoffs, right? He's had um, pretty much three steals and three blocks, or at least three stocks, essentially, every single game. We're looking at five here, four here, three here, seven here, four here, four here, five here, three here, six here, um, five, five, ten. So he's literally probably had at least four. He's been averaging like four stocks per game here, and that obviously racks up the fantasy points pretty quickly for a player like Anthony Davis. But taking a look at his fourth quarter fantasy score game log in the playoffs, more specifically versus Denver, which is where the Lakers kind of switched their scheme, and it's really been a talk over the last day and a half of how the Lakers played in the fourth quarter. Um, obviously, they won the second half versus Denver, but the, the switch that they had, Riha Chimura guarding Jokic, it allowed AD to become more of a roamer defensively, which I think will give him even more opportunities to get steals and blocks, um, which he was doing already guarding Jokic. But if he's able to roam and guard Aaron Gordon specifically, I mean, I watched that entire game and in that fourth quarter, you could see the impact AD was making as far as just even the presence him, of himself alone. Um, Jokic would maybe, you know, back down Rui Hachimura and, you know, think about going to the basket, but then AD is there to help. So they're kind of leaving Aaron Gordon um, in that dunker spot. So not really sure. The game plan for this game is going to be very, very interesting because the adjustments the Lakers made, I definitely think the Nuggets will look to counter those. But then who knows even if the Lakers continue to play that kind of um you know, defense on Jokic. So definitely going to be interesting, but I definitely think in a spot like that, it makes Anthony Davis even more inclined to get those stocks. Um, we take a look at his PRA here. Uh, this is on Outlier, by the way. There is a link at the top of, top of the description of this video to sign up for Outlier. You get a seven-day free trial. But he's at minus 130 and minus 120 and minus 125 on Caesars to go over 40 and a half PRA. Now, we talked about this in the previous video that the PRA doesn't necessarily correlate to AD's fantasy score. Um, and we take a look at his last 10 here against Golden State. We had 40, 35, and 40 PRA um, on those games on May 8th, 10th, and 12th. And then we take a look at his fantasy score game log in those games, May 8th, 10th, and 12th. He had 50, 35, and 57 and a half. So, obviously... The odds for him to go over his PRA are juiced on the over, which does benefit us here in this situation. But for AD, it's those steals and blocks. It's the defensive presence. But he did still go off for 40-plus points. We know Denver is ranked in the bottom 10 as far as points allowed in the paint. Uh, I think AD continues to feast here. I think even uh, his 24.5 points is a little bit too low. But for a guy 
in my opinion, who just went off for 71 and a half fantasy, where he only had 10 rebounds too, you guys. I definitely think he gets more opportunities for rebounds. I did want to mention that as well. Uh, his rebounding prop, I believe, where's his rebounds? It's set at 12 and a half. I think that's a strong play as well, because I think, um, you know, we saw AD in that fourth quarter uh, of the game, of game one, he grabbed four rebounds, which, you know, was more than a third, or uh, sorry, almost half of the rebounds he grabbed all game. Um, with with Rui Hachimura guarding Jokic, any shot, you know, it, it, it leaves Yo it leaves AD in the paint, right? It doesn't pull AD away from the paint or pull AD away from the rim with Jokic as the ball. Obviously, Jokic is a high usage player, um, so it should allow AD to grab some more rebounds there. So I definitely think, I'm not saying AD is going to go off for another 40 points tonight, but I think he's good for at least 25 plus points, 26 plus points. Uh, I think he should grab 12 to 14 rebounds, and then those steals and blocks should be there as well. So AD at 53 continues to be too low in my opinion um that's going to be the first play the second play here i gotta i gotta throw a nuggets play in here I'm, I'm gonna go with aaron gordon over 15 and a half points plus assists now this is obviously an interesting one here but the, the just the data the data sorry is too good here for aaron gordon to not kind of have a bounce back game and, and kind of how the lakers were defending the uh the nuggets in that fourth quarter they kind of want a, uh, Aaron Gordon to beat them. So I definitely think the volume should be there for Aaron Gordon here. We take a look at his points plus assist game log this season, including the playoffs, when he plays 31 plus minutes at home. The hit rate is extremely high, right? He hasn't had anything less than 14 PA in every single game this season. He's had at least 15 um, in almost every single game this season. I mean, 14 twice, right? But he's hit the over on this in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 of 1, to 14 of uh, 19 games this season. He has hit the over on this at home when he plays 31 plus minutes we take a look at his outlier or his outlier numbers here you can see all the green at home this season when he plays 31 plus minutes it is very very much so green you guys for aaron gordon here 63 percent hit rate this season in general um when he goes to home you can you can see the hit rate here as well the floor is just too high for this number um for aaron gordon and we take a look at aaron gordon here um points plus assist game log like i said um, in the playoffs, he's had a strong hit rate as well. I mean, he hasn't, he's only hit, he's hit the over on this in one, two, three, four games at home, two misses coming with 15 in both games. And in that game one, he had finished with 12 points, three assists. I believe he had, uh, six potential assists in that game, which is decent for us here. Um, he's kind of giving assists and high conversion rates, right? So six getting, converting actually half of those is a strong conversion rate for his potential assist to assist per game. But he finished with 15 PA in that game versus the Lakers, shot four for nine from the field, 0 for three from three and missed four free throw attempts. So he got to the free throw. He makes one more free throw attempt. That's a cash for us here. Um, and then he would have cleared in uh, five of his last five games here. Um, also, what's interesting in that fourth quarter, again, where the Lakers completely shifted the way they were defending Jokic. Jokic obviously still had a high usage rate at 27.3. But Aaron Gordon did have a 21.1% usage in that fourth quarter, which is something we do like to see as well, showing us that he is going to have the usage and the opportunity here. 15 and a half just seems a little bit too low for Aaron Gordon. Um, I think, you know, with six potential assists, he's maybe good for two to four assists in the game. I and mean, we've seen this season, Aaron Gordon is able to rack up those assists. Numerous games here with three plus assists, even games with eight and seven assists twice at home. So I think Aaron Gordon here, um, 15 and a half, the Lakers definitely want to make Aaron Gordon beat them. So I definitely think the opportunity and volume will be there for him. I like Aaron Gordon over 15 and a half PA. And then again, I normally only give two plays here, but I'm feeling generous and I definitely want to... Uh, you know, just share the share the information and share the research with you guys. I, I really like LeBron over 15 and a half uh, RA tonight um, against the Nuggets. He had 21 RA um, in that game. One 21 RA went absolutely crazy. I think he had 12 points and nine, 12 rebounds and nine assists, I believe. Um, 12, 12 RA, right? That's what he had. Let's just double check this real quick. Yeah, he had 12 RA against Denver. But take a look at LeBron's playoff. RA game log with the Lakers like the floor here is just too high for a player and a must win for the Lakers obviously they want to win but LeBron's going to play 40 plus minutes tonight which should be a close game D'Angelo Russell not really I don't think is going to be a factor in this game as well I don't see him playing more than 25 plus minutes which gives the ball uh, gives LeBron the ball, you know, more in his hands. And if LeBron, if the Lakers start or give Rui Hachimura more minutes with LeBron and AD on the floor, it's just going to give LeBron another weapon, another shooter for him to, you know, potentially get assists to. Now he had nine assists in that game, has come clearly over on this in back-to-back -back games, 18 RA and 21 RA versus the Nuggets. And we take a look at LeBron's RA game log, you know, in the playoffs with the Lakers. This has an extremely high hit rate. The floor is extremely high here as well for LeBron. 
um obviously since joining the lakers this has you know lebron has really 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 dominated in my opinion we take a look at that fourth quarter though again we're taking a look at these fourth quarters just because i think the schematics will be similar for this game lebron had eight ra in that match in that fourth quarter he had four rebounds and four assists in 12 minutes i mean if that's just giving us a glimpse of kind of if you know the lakers do run more of a lineup with hachimura and lebron on the floor again similar to to ad grabbing more rebounds i think if lebron if uh hachimura is guarding Jokic. It's allowing LeBron to be more in the paint to grab potential rebounds. So in that game, one, LeBron did have uh, 16 rebounding chances, converting 12 of those. And he also had 15 potential assists, converting nine of those. So 15 plus, uh, what, 16 here. We're looking at 31 RA chances or opportunities for LeBron. All we would need tonight is 16. The odds here in favor as well. He's minus 139 on Caesars, minus 130 on DraftKings, minus 128 on FanDuel here. I like LeBron here over 15 and a half. He is listed even at 16 and a half on some books as well. So um, I think at 15 and a half is, is some good value here. So here's the three plays here. Again, if you appreciate the three plays, just please drop a like on this video, you guys. And also hit that subscribe button. I do drop content like this every single day. But I got Anthony Davis over 53 and a half, 50, sorry, 53 fantasy score. Aaron Gordon over 15 and a half PA. And LeBron James over 15 and a half RA. Let me know in the comments below how you guys feel about these three plays. Drop a like on this video. Hit that subscribe button. And as always, let's cash.